Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel Altcoin Reviews. Today I am here with one more video on arbitraging and the topic of today's video is price analysis. Price analysis as of 18th of July 2019 and today is Thursday. So as you all know that what we have seen in the last 3 to 4 days how bad the market was performing in the last three, four, three to four days. Uh, Bitcoin came down from thirteen thousand to nine thousand dollars, and Ethereum came down from uh, three hundred and fifteen to three uh, to one hundred and ninety-five dollars. So almost thirty percent decrease in the price of Bitcoin, and almost thirty percent decrease, more than thirty percent decrease in the price of Ethereum. So because of that bear market, red market or blood part, uh, we seen 99% of the cryptocurrencies were down. All were red in the last 4 days, 4 to 5 days. It started from 12th of July and it remained till today. And the market was keep on going down and down and down and down and down. And no movement was going on in any of the cryptocurrencies volumes were low markets were slow sell pressure was very high buy pressure was almost nothing and because of that reason we see a very bad market position and it it also affected the price of our coin and the volumes in the app coin as you all know that if the market is red it's not possible that it not it will not affect the other cryptocurrencies including the including our coin and it affected our coin but in it affected in the forms of form of volume and the price of our coin in usd not the price of our coin in gwei but today we seen a little bit decline in the price of our coin in gwei also because ethereum was going down badly and that affected the price of our coin because the volumes were almost nothing and the little amount of sellers who want, wanted to sell their our coins they sold it and as there were no buyers available because of the ethereum rate uh, no one uh, maybe everyone has converted to usd or maybe no one is uh, wanting to buy now they are waiting for the ethereum to go up so that's why maybe uh, uh, the volumes are very low today and because of that the price of our point got down to 1413 gwei the rate in USD is 9.2 cents. Uh, the ABOT is 1.12 dollars, and the exchange volume in the last 24 hours is 34.55 Ethereum. And the rate of Ethereum is 224.52 dollars now, and the AUSD 24 hour volumes is 32.2 million. So as you can see now, the rate of Bitcoin and the rate of Ethereum started to increase slowly, as you can see in this chart that it is going up again the bitcoin came up from 9000 to 10500 dollars and ethereum from 190 to 224 dollars again uh, it also shown a uh, uh, what i can say that positive growth in the market again and uh, it is growing slowly uh, but the effects of the red market is still going on because it's still both of them are still down from the price where it came down but a $1500 growth in the price of Bitcoin is good for the last 24 hours and the $24 to $35 I think growth for the price of Ethereum. So not bad at all. Uh, let's hope it continue to grow. It, Litecoin is growing very nicely. It gone down to $80 but it is $101 again. So now all of the coins are growing up slowly uh, but as there are no volumes in ARB at this time uh, that why it is it is it has not started to grow yet but what I can what I am seeing is as tomorrow is Friday and then the weekends will start so the actual growth in ARB coin especially I am expecting on Monday that the volumes will be back to normal and the rate will start to move up but one one more possible scenario is that if we get some kind of a news like shadow trading or apex news or any any kind of a news it can uh, increase the volumes and the rate 
but at this time the R market is really really slow. Uh, now let's move to the exchange page and let's check out uh, that uh, what's the rate, uh, what's the market and what's the support and the resistance available. Uh, so as you can see that we are down to 399 uh, and uh, on the buy side we are at 392. But now the good thing to see is that we have a strong support here. It's a strong support zone and uh, it, it, it is not looking that it can go down below this level because we have a 10 ethereum support here and uh, it looks like that it will remain here until some kind of a news came in. Uh, so I don't think it will go down from this level. The total wall we have is also decreasing a bit by wall. It was around 702 ethereum yesterday and today it is 697.73 ethereum and the total sell wall we have is if we don't count this huge wall because it's not possible for the price of our point to go to this level in the next 24 hours because that after the 24 hours this wall will be cancelled so not worth to count this wall i count till here as you all know if you are watching my previous videos i maximum count the wall till 0.01 and we have a wall of 227 ethereum and my next target 0.005 we have a wall of only 217 ethereum so not big walls available if we compare with the previous days walls uh, so my first target was to get to this level at least uh, then think of the next level but now the market is not in a good position and a good shape so for now we can just uh, wait for some kind of a news or the buy pressure to come in or some big whale come in and start buying otherwise we are we will be at the same level from that uh, in the next four days until the weekends get over because usually on the weekends we, is, we even get more slower than the other market because our community may be like to rest on the weekend or something like that but i am sure from monday onwards we will see a good growth in the price of uh, our point Bitcoin is $10,549 and Ethereum is $224.88. Now let's check out the price of our coin on the external exchange. And uh, let me refresh the page once. So we get the exact price. So the price of our coin today on the external exchange is 9.4 cents, which is 8.06% up from the yesterday's price. And it is even 0.0. .0 uh, 0.002 cents up from the internal exchange. In the internal exchange it is 9.2 cents and on the external exchange it is 9.4 cents. So it is good to see in the Ethereum it also grown and in BTC it got 0.95% down. The rank is 934. The total market cap we have is $451,384 and the volumes in the last 24 hours we have received on only the coin exchange.io exchange uh, because other exchange is not added to this 24 hour volume is 1184 USD which is equal to 0 0.11 BTC and 5.25 Ethereum and as you can see that the coin exchange ARB Ethereum pair has got eleven hundred and nineteen dollars with the rate of nine point four cents with the volume of ninety four point fifty four percent and coin exchange dot ior ptc pair has got sixty five dollar of the volume with the rate of nine point five cents even better than the ethereum pair and with the volume with the volume percentage of five point forty six percent la token our ethereum pair has got no volumes today with a rate of nine point seven cents which is 0% because we have not received any volume today. Ether Flare Arb Ethereum pair has got the highest volume of them all, which is $728,999 with the rate of 10.7 cents, which is very good to see. But it is showing 0% here because it has two star in front of it. And it says that if the volume has two star, then it will not be in will be excluded from the total volume because they have some other kind of a policy for the exchange which uh, ask for no fees and uh, give some bonus on the buying and selling 
they do not include the exchange in their total volumes and the volume percentage and all the things it's the coin market cap rule you can search yourself also that what exchange they add to the total volume and what exchange they not add but basically it's a volume people are trading with this amount of money in the exchange that why it is showing here now the last uh, thing to share with you is the 24 hour high and low the 24 hour high is 9.7 cents and the low is 8.6 cents so it is moving between the 1 cent price zone and it is almost near to the all time high not the all time high sorry uh, the 24 hour high let's hope it also go to the all time high uh, which is 13.04 dollar on the external exchange and on the internal exchange it was up to 25 dollars on december 19 2018 so let's hope it goes to this level it will make all of us very happy if it goes to this level but the first target of us should be one dollar at least so it can it can give us a sigh of relief and then we can think next that what to do next but for now our target should be one dollar a piece so i think that's enough for the price analysis for 18th of july 2019 let me end this video here thank you so much for watching please like share comment and subscribe to my channel have a very wonderful day Bye bye